In order to build the fish trap shown in the design, this one here, you need branches for the length of the sides of the trap. Here's the sides. And six additional branches for the support rings. We have one circle, two circle, three circle, four, five, six circles. These are support rings. They're circles. Which of the following expressions will calculate the number of branches required to build this trap if D equals diameter? of fish trap opening. So we're talking about the number of branches required to build this. The plus six here, or here, or here, refers to the support rings. One, two branch, three, four, five, six. So looks like A, B, or C looks like a possible candidate. One giant branch can be curved around into a circle. So these are support rings. Now, when you look at this fish trap, there are many, many branches. How many do we need? Notice the shape it forms. These branches form a circle. It has something to do with the circumference. And look at this diagram down here. There's some information about how far these branches, this is a cross section of the branches that's sliced sideways, this might help us. So focusing on this circle, recall that the formula of a circumference of a circle is equals to pi d, pi times diameter. Now if we know the circumference, can we really figure out how many different branches there are? According to this diagram, each branch is five centimeters apart. From branch to branch to branch, we keep adding five, five, five. If we knew the entire circumference, whatever that number is, we simply divide by five to figure out the number of branches. So pi d divided by five is the actual number of branches. So we can see that the number of branches plus six more for the support rings is the correct answer, c.